Hey, Pacers, season's over. Sorry, guys. It's time for the Fever. That's who we're here to see. L.A. versus Fever. This is what we have new at a Fever game, this cool outdoor park. Plenty of great pictures. We also have Indiana Fever up here against the wall. The Pacers have had this since I think 1999. Now the Fever. And you can pose for pictures. It's a beautiful day. Fever rising. We're gonna get there, folks. So this is the Caitlin Clark effect here in Indianapolis. Young girls are wearing her jerseys. There's Caitlin. Everybody's here for her. All right, so you walk up here. Fieldhouse and check out the Indiana Fever, or should I say, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. They're playing the LA Sparks. That's Cameron Brink, shoot number two pick. Should be an exciting time. We're going to see if uh, there's a Caitlin effect to the game tonight. So why don't you join us? We have a line going into the store. We're all cookie down now. Served by the Stoops. These are the flavors. Chops and chocolate peanut butter brownie batter birthday cake. New to uh, the arena this year. Alright. Get some more B-roll. Tickets are up top. Oops, sorry. That's fine. Oh, there you go. It's not blurry anymore. Let's see that replay here. Same thing they did with the Pacers. Now let's meet the Stokers from the Fever. And for Hotel Carolina, with number seven, Leon. Cameron Briggs with those high socks. Feels like I'm in the ABA. It, it's weird to see, uh, feels like the Pacers are always in yellow. Oh, there you go, there you go. Oh. All right, here's the team store again. We got Freddy Fever, we got some Pacer merch, but uh, it's all about Fever, Indiana Fever. So it's a Clark effect. That's kind of a cool little throwback, 2012 NBA, uh, WNBA champs. And uh, we have people buying up a lot of uh, Caitlin Clark merch. And if you want a snack, let's see what they have. Get yourself a pretzel for six fifty, nacho six fifty, hot dog for six, premium beer for ten fifty, or a Pepsi for five seventy five to seven seventy five. Right, I don't know what they're doing there, but.
hands and elbows. All right, I want to see Caitlyn score. Oh, no, not yet. All right, there's Caitlyn. Let's see. There you go, Caitlin. They called a flagrant foul on that. Caitlin made her first shot. She's going for the second. Nothing but net. I'm not familiar with the Sire Spirit section. I think that is a 50 cents uh, brand of alcohol, but behind me you get warehouse barbecue, some pulled pork sandwiches, which are always nice. And uh, barbecue sauce for dipping. Can't complain. Then you got this really cool view behind me. So nice little spot to uh, check out the game. This is the balcony section. This is a little different from what we usually see. There are the aisles or the volatoriums. And it's a little blurry. There you go. And we got those uh, nice brick walls. So a little different than downstairs, a little quieter, but everybody's watching the game right now. And they added a little bit of art throughout the building recently. Haven't seen this one yet. Represents the ladies in high school. Clock is ticking. Sparks win by five. And that's it, folks. We'll see you next game, May 30th, versus the Seattle Storm. That's a wrap. We got out of the elevator. Next game Thursday, where is it? Or Seattle, so. Caitlin had 30 points, which was huge. Unfortunately, they fell to the LA Sparks. Their record right now, this recording is one in seven. Hopefully that changes pretty soon. And this is a uh, post game, it is packed here. All right. Some disappointed fans, but we have a good future. We're excited. All right, folks, we'll see you next time. I'm the Ballpark Hunter. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.